All right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there, the arena is back and you guys know what day it is. It is Chameleon release day. Actually, two hours ago, the cameo dropped and that means the dynamic duo is here. Back. Combined once again with the very, very first Chameleon only top eight. And Fab's rumors on the street are that this cameo is actually quite impressive and stronger than people thought i, I know you know it's more good. about it fabs tell us i've been labbing of course the nerd commentator here was cooking <laughs> uh bro this cameo works okay so she has three variations that cycle yep. through in the game right and funny enough all three variations work with every character like every character has dirt with each variation she has and they cycle through each other there's so much dirt so much tech i was yes. finding out I mean, it was amazing i loved it Twitter is full of it already and once again for everyone watching this right now here on Twitch and on YouTube I think the for the first time ever Fabs when a cameo dropped literally all the character loyalists came into the discord and said wait this camera is actually good with my character. Rotha came in saying immediately, bro, I found some rain sauce with Chameleon, mm -hmm. which is going to be insane. And that brings us here to this lineup because usually these day one tournaments are, you know, for entertainment purposes. But perhaps this lineup, this, this is war over here, brother. And I don't oh, think that these crazy. guys out there are ready. Let's bring it in because this bracket is actually spicy. Rotha. Kafursko, match number one. That means we already have one of the favorites here. Playing, of course, Rotha, Rain God, Quan Chi Master himself. Today, gonna show us what he can do with the new cameo. Versus Kafursko, so set and disarded here as well. The never ending rivalry, perhaps we say it all the time. Two good friends clashing against each other here in the arena. In this single elimination top eight, gonna be good. And that is only the upper half of the bracket. Do you want to talk about the lower bracket though, Fabs? Evil Carnage. Okay, Omni-Man has a lot of sauce with... This is why all these guys showed up. Because yes. I don't see these guys coming often for these tournaments. Yes. They're here because these characters resonate really well with the new cameo. And Connie Mani. Bro, Johnny Cage also has some crazy sauce with Chameleon. I am hyped. And Koizy! <laughs> this is gonna be the mother team because Sindel and Chameleon are literally like Edenian, like, you know, hard, hard Edenian characters. People love them too. And Martian Man Eater, Natara, Chameleon, also saucy character. All these guys seem to be very creative yes. in their game. I hope I'm not gonna see just backdash and glaive toss. That's gonna piss me off. So please do some cool stuff and <laughs> the action. The thing is, Fabs here, looking at this bracket, and that's what actually puts a smile on my face. We have eight different character mains in this top eight. Literally every single one of these players is playing a different main character. That means hopefully we're gonna see some different tags, some different strategies around the new release cameo. This is gonna be a good day. And before we dive into this first match, I want to say thank you for everyone who decides to tune in today. Chameleon just released. Fabs and I are here with another top eight. And of course, wouldn't be possible without the great community in the back. Fabs, it's time to start Rotha on Rain, Kafursko on Havoc. And now let's, let's see go. what these guys have cooked for us. Hopefully, I'm not going to see just some backdash gaming. You guys better impress me today. I am here to judge your game plan. Let's go. We got Fentos into Rain Projectile. That would have come with some full by the way. So, Chameleon, one of the new cameos which actually have this cycle ability and Rotha already going crazy here in the beginning. So, the Melina side ambush, by the way, is just so fast and has almost no cooldown. It is impressive. Oh, he can combo from every freaking arm. Oh my god. Rain, Rain, Rotor, you guys are the same people. Yes, and now we know why Rotha was so happy about this cameo. You can already see how diverse the usage of Chameleon is here in this first match. Every single variation of her is viable, and that, that's safe as well. That fan, that fan cost is minus six, and it launches. What filthy move is that? Wait, really? I can't believe it. It's minus yeah. six? And it launches. Glaive throw is also safe, and it launches. <laughs> Can she get the safe launcher from every variation? <laughs> that comes back as well. I oh, love it. And Rosa, wait a minute, we dropped the conversion, and now he has to pay the price for it. Last breaker available, but now Kaversko. Full screen conversion. Yes, he also has the, the Glaive Toss that kind of works as a, like the Serena Glaive, you know, they come back and it gives you a combo from full screen. I have to say, Fabs, this cameo literally looks busted right now. I mean, there's yeah. so much utility. 
show much until today. So many conversions you can get, like going off and on, you know. And the cooldown seems to be quite generous, honestly. She also has three different four throws that do three different things. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of characters are getting like throw combos with Chameleon. I've throw literally combos, seen yeah. a Gears throw combo with Chameleon oh. on Twitter before we booted up the stream here. It's gonna get crazy in the next weeks. And Chad, what can I say? I'm so happy that we don't have to commentate 28 strikers in a row, Fabs. Thank God, we actually get some <laughs> variety. Also, it's not gonna be some backdash gaming. It's gonna be like, they're actually trying to get in and play neutral. And do fancy combos, you know? Oh, Yo, Rotha flying across the screen here, looking for those conversions. Big whiff from Kafirska, not able to whiff punish yet. This is super, super close, and now Rotha looking for chip out. And this is what I honestly wanted, you know? Like, you constantly see the cameo on the screen. You see so many things happening, so much. I like this about this game, you know? So, oh my god, he can come from so Brain crazy. Body. Ooh, so good. Everyone's showing off their sauce. That is so crazy. I mean, Rain right now looks like... It looks like he is in a complete new tier with Chameleon Ooh. together. Oh, what the hell is that bloke special into <laughs> I'm... <laughs> no, that is sturdy. Oh yeah, everyone has been laughing today. Oh, Over at Yes, Kafersko didn't watch his dome and now Rota. Is he looking for some kind of brute? Another full street projectile? Bueno. You guys better have to throw brutalities for her, by the way. I hope so. And once again, we have to say it. For everyone who potentially just tuned in, Ferbs, we are literally hosting a day one chameleon only top A tournament. The cameo literally released one and a half hours ago. So these players barely had time to find out the tag, to find new combos. And right now it looks hella impressive already. I say that every single time when we host these fabs, but our players are literally out of this world. This is, this is awesome. I'm loving it. And, and people chaos. keep saying that uh, sometimes you can be doing a combo and your chameleon is going to switch. But the neutral chameleon, it, it launches regardless. I mean, it might mess up your timing, but it's still going to be able to convert off of one, something you want, you know? So, not as bad as people might think, but it's still RNG in that aspect. And I think if chameleon wasn't RNG, he would be top zero <laughs> chameleon. He would be the strongest yes, in the game. I was about to mention it, it might have been too strong. So NRS, they definitely knew what they're doing here with the cycle system. Unblockable, baby. Yep. Oh, wait. He has Melina. Do Melina combo. Okay, didn't do it. Okay. okay. Never mind. Oh, and by the way, you remember when Lao Spin used to launch on Wake Up? Lao Cameo Spin? So, uh, Cam I think Chameleon is the only cameo that can launch on Wake Up. It's actually disgusting. 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 <laughs> that was a great anti alpha growth. I like that. Saying, sit down, my friend. This is a no fly zone. Yeah, it's not RNG, but it cycles every five seconds or six seconds, whatever. It goes from Katana to Melina and Jade. Katana, Melina, Jade. Oh, that was good from Kafersko. I like that. Full screen roll. Another very, very close match here. He's gonna come back. Can do one more. Oh, everybody has Jackie Leap, and I love this game. <laughs> no, I'm I getting MK11 flashbacks right now, Fabs. We all got Jackie Leaps, man. Good grab, Rotha. Not ready for any tech attempt. Oh, I like that. He puts up the, <laughs> the projectile, uh, the half damage and thingy. Hold on a second. Ooh, Ooh, that was a so beautiful quick. enter from Kafersko. Yep, we are trying to find counterplay on the go. Come back, plus frames, and there we go. I like how plus she leaves you after that glaive comes back. It's insane. <laughs> that is saucy, Fabs. I gotta say. And just looking at it, I think 
there is literally no other cameo which comes close to that utility, right? It yeah. seems like every single version is super, super useful compared to Tremor, where we have a similar, similar style, right, of cycle. But here with Chameleon, it looks very, very strong. I was hitting on them. I was like, maybe this game won't be too good, but I never mind. It's actually so cool. We come back, and there we go. Nice respect. Oh, that's death. And that Jade the sec. Yeah, like, it does so much damage, and when it comes back, you can do another one. You can just... Oh, Ashra. I, I cannot wait to see Macaron, Fish Like Steve, and Schoolman play this character. Because I don't Ashra even want to Chameleon, imagine Ashra with Chameleon. I, I was playing Ashra Chameleon earlier, and like I don't even play Ashra that much, and she has so much sauce. I love it. And every time she starts the game, it's actually a random uh, variation she starts on. So every, like on every game start, you never know which one you get. But then after that, it just cycles. There's the Jade Glow. I think that Jade Glow might be better than the Sub Zero Mon Clizzy. I'm not gonna. You lie. think so? Yeah. <laughs> no, don't <laughs> don't tell me the Glow is basically Mon Clizzy 2.0. Yeah, it hits faster though. I can't believe it. Sunshine, thank you so much for the first gifted sub here in the chat today. And Rotha sitting in his water bubble. Oh, good grab. And that is so plus. Do you know the frame data on this bad boy, Fabs? Uh, like the forward throw, the, the restand, how plus it is? Plus 31. <laughs> I was labbing it. I was labbing it. Yo, that is insane. Oh, Abel said the same thing. Oh, yo, it's in my head already. It's engraved in my yeah, head. Fabs, you know, professional commentator out here, of course, worked his ass off before the stream started. So you guys just can sit back, relax. Oh, that's a big combo. There's the breaker coming in just in time. Oh, no, that is wait, good. A... Yep, we are leaping <laughs> our way to victory. Did you see how crazy it is? He a full string projectile into like a leap block string. I, I'm scared of this game right now. I'm scared, but at the same time, I'm excited because we got something new. Yes, I'm, I'm just happy to see something new as well. You know, shake up the meta a little bit. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna shake up the meta. Like imagine how many different matchups you can start working on and how much it changes. Great. And this is only the first match of the night after this. So sad. Is he going to bring Gears? Is he going to bring Shao? No one knows right now. Match versus the Sardis coming up right after this. So stay with us. It's going to get hot tonight. And the funny part is, right? Shao and Gears both work well with Chameleon. And whoever he wants to give us, we'll have sauce. I love to hear the fast. Let's have a look. 2-0 Rotha on match point. Looking for the sweep. Good with punish. Yeah, I'll slap him. That was a good attack from Kafersko. I have a feeling if you take the throw and you do the Jackie leap, you might be able to get a safe jump. Something, something I'm cooking in my head already. And Rotha going for another launch. I see that portal lurking there in the back. There it is. Try to go for that overhead. Got interrupted. Kitana Khan, thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate you. What in the hell is going on? Round two, fight. Dude, the th this is even worse utility. than Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> she can just go the <laughs> fact that Rother went in and then just keep oh my god. Yo, that that, that Melina side chat has to be the fastest ambush in the whole game. It has oh, to be. The Rotha Shim Jim. And Abel is saying that glaive is the biggest F you to neutral ever. It really is. It looks hella strong. And look, speaking of strong things, Rotha oh. conquering this first match. The first player in semi-finals faps. Congratulations. Everybody wanted to buff cameos. Well, they gave you the most buff cameo you could <laughs> yes. possibly imagine on release. So have fun. And the rest said, wait, you, you guys want some sauce? We got you. The whole pot. There we go.
So, but chat, speaking of sauce. We have a banger match coming up next since the MK11 days. Both of them are still here with us, still going strong. Soset versus Disordered. Fabs, what do we expect? Um, Disordered probably a Baraka. Baraka Chameleon. I hope to see some sauce. I think so, and yes. Soset could give us a Shao or the Gearest. And both of these characters have good tech with chameleon so i'm hoped I, i'm hyped regardless Ooh, it, if this hard to play scorpion i think she has he has good sauce with chameleon as well it is it is gonna be hype because we have to say it once again looking at this bracket every single player competing today in this tournament has a different main character so most likely we're gonna see a different main in every single match tonight here in round number one and that is a beautiful thing fabs yes this might be the most diverse even though they're playing the same cameos, but you're gonna be gonna see, you're gonna see every single like new combo routes, new block strings, new types of ways to pressure and Oki and busted things. I hope. Chat prediction is officially live, so let's have a look. Bet your channel points, everyone. Who do you have in this? And so sad. He is entering the arena with Gearest chat and I know a lot of people out there like that would you rather have been excluded from this timeline better non-existence than Tarkat we get Gearest we get Gearest we get Gearest so sad I want to see unlimited amount of sauce here please and I'm pretty sure so is going to deliver That's really close. That was so close. Jesus. Wait, That's Cheddar Bob in the chat is saying, what the hell? The Glaive on the way back is plus 61. Now, up close, up close is plus three. But um, if you're like kind of far and you get some time, the good thing back, it's, it's really, really plus. We have to jump. If we don't want to get hit by that. I just started right now. You're firing on all cylinders. Oh. Look at this pressure. You gotta say 50-50 with Barack. Oh god. Oh god. Fight. He's already showing how this this can be meta. He's just taking on, on Jade. Everyone is gonna just be playing Jade. Oh and <laughs> Gearus! Yo, look at this big boy jumping around, Fabs. Jackie Lee, I honestly bro. want to see Shao with a leap. Shao with a little, you know, mini jetpack. Let's go. That's what oh, that's what I always wanted in MK11. You know, Shao with Jackie Lee. Shao with Jackie Lee. That might be disgusting. Imagine. I, I don't even know what to say. Oh, <laughs> Oliver throws with different damage. Ooh, that was so close. He couldn't even counter both. He's already with the sauce. He's on. Jade now. That's the that's gonna be a block string. That was gonna be a block string. This is filthy. Baraka is so strong. Baraka wins. And it is just crazy to me that right now it honestly looks like Chameleon is a great pick for every single character out there. We we rarely, and I'm not even sure if we ever saw that so far, besides Serena. Yeah. Her glaive does some, you know. I wouldn't say better than Serena because even if you hit Serena in some situations, Baraka. the glaives still come back. But if you hit Chameleon, yes. the glaive does not come Chameleon. back. Chameleon, living forest. Tarkat is a cruel fate, Gyrus. As Liu Kang has told you, we cannot. One or disordered. Round one. Exotic is saying, how are we feeling today, Rips? I'm always having a great one whenever I can press that go live button and, you know, meet the fan. So, Tizarda had like a, a, a Katana fan start. And as soon as you tell you ask Katana, he starts with safe armor into Katana and is actually for real, I'm guessing. That's crazy. Oh, input error from Tizarda. But wake up violence as an answer. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Overhead. 18 frames. Be ready to react. <laughs> no. <laughs> this cameo has everything. Be ready to react, brother. Beyond. 
He has everything. He has everything. He can make armor safe. Um, yeah. There we go. TP. That is gonna do it. No TP. Oh yeah, so he doesn't have the teleport with, without without Lao or Motara. Can't even make big burgers. Oh, that's not a bad. That was a beautiful answer from the start. Of it. We got those quick reaction time today. Don't forget, everyone, single elimination. And yeah, the reset is crazy. Super, super plus. So you keep that pressure going. Oh my god. She is playing this so well. <laughs> no. Jackie! Oh, no! No, I've never thought this. I, I would see this in my life. And again, one round apiece. Who is going to take it? Is this art going to run away with the 2-0? Or is Sosa tying this up? Punish. Oh my god, the poke. He wants to skip the corner. That's minus six. Could have whiff punished that. More pressure. Looking for the back dash. Good blocks from the Sardis here. I like the patience. Load it up. So plus. Get Full screen perps. One bar breaker. Oh, everyone is just doing the overhead on block because it's, it's just nobody's reaction. No one is here. ready so far. No. No one is. And there's the cash out. What is the scaling though? With Cameo as a starter. Dude, wake up launching overhead. We don't even have to talk about the scaling. This is some disgusting damage. This is 40 plus. <laughs> you died. You died. And then it's a helicopter. You died. Oh, chat. I have the feeling we're going to see Chameleon on the regular here in the arena at least. Second match of the night. Right now, this are the 2-0 lead. Another match point. Rotha already in semi-finals. And after this, one of the most successful arena players yeah, in the arena history. Kanimani returning to the big stage today versus Evil Carnage. Oh, crazy. Bara Chameleon. Chameleon, the hour players. I understand your rage, Baraka. How can you? You've never faced death. Round one, fight. Beautiful uplock from Soulset. Getting the full punish for it. Ooh, did you see the backdash from the Sardate going for that trip guard? Good shit. He's good, he's good, he's good. I just saw a 45% full screen combo with Chameleon. I am stunned. This character has so much sauce. Jackie leads. Pressure now. When the pressure is never ending, traps. Oh, they started. No, this is not over yet. I'm a dead man. That is insane. This, uh, this cameo honestly looks strong. And we're armoring through this, the matchup knowledge. Let's see if he breaks the loud <laughs> hag in the striker meta. No, the Sardis is playing out of his mind. <laughs> no, he's playing out of his mind, Fabs. Okay, yeah, block the Jackie Leap. I'm calling that Jackie Leap because it's the only way I can remember her. Yo, the way this leaps basically gives you more pressure unless uplocked. Oh, there we go. And so said, no, he has to find an answer. But this artist, he looks so comfortable. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, chat. This is not allowed, this started.
the trio. And so said in the chat is saying this cameo is the worst idea they ever came across <laughs> with. <laughs> I'm crying. And Disordered as an answer is saying this cameo is pure chaos. And he might be right with that, Fafs. It is chaos. Because I, her cooldowns are kind of good as well. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Chat. It is chaos here in the arena today as well. Looking at this bracket, it is time for the third match of the night. And a lot of people over there on YouTube asked for it, asked for him to come back. And today it is finally time. Welcome back our eight-time arena champion, Kanimani. So Fabs, my, my question is, which character is Kani gonna bring? He can play a lot. We know that if he wants to go full sweat mode, it's gonna be Raiden or Johnny. Evil Carnage, of course. Omni-Man main. Omni-Man loyalist. Even though we gotta say, Omni-Man and Lau have that super good synergy, right? Where you have that free get into with Lau Basso. I'm, I'm curious how Evil Carnage is gonna make this work with yeah. Chameleon. I don't think Raiden has too much synergy with Chameleon because like Raiden kind of needs um, uh, the Kano Ball after like the Storm Swan stuff. So yeah, yeah, he goes with Johnny. And I do know that Johnny gets throw combos. He gets like crazy conversions. I want to see. And if he gets into hype, he might see some sauce. So Kani is basically telling us he wants to sweat today. We go right to the main. I better see some cool combos. Kani I like that Johnny skin. Oh. That move, by the way, it makes <laughs> it the next hit. That's the full crystal drip. That makes it so next thing that hits you does half damage, whether I'm blocked. How or did Connie read that? Connie Money right now here, seeing the future in front of our eyes. Johnny looking like a freaking disco ball. Oh, trying to go for the mix. Minus 17. All blocked. Pick up. Wow, that's cool. Fan lift? Ooh, we almost got the throw combo. I was expecting that, but he dropped it. It's possible, though. One good opening. Wait, 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 wait. No, that doesn't work. Not versus a player like Hardy Money. This man is ready. This man has the patience to hold that block button. Round two, fight. How many shadow things is he throwing in neutral? Fearless. I have to say, perhaps Kalimani, one of the best neutral playing players we have in the arena. That's what he's known for the most, right? Yeah, he's pretty solid in neutral. neutral. Oh, that whips. What whipping going on here? Gonna come back. Plus city. Oh, that's gonna be so much damage. Ooh, 21%. We go for the shadow kick in neutral. Kanimani is on live support, but Johnny, he can bring this back. There we go. The other 17 frame overhead. Or 18 frames. I don't know. Something like that. Ooh, no wake up poke. No way he floss blocked that. No way he floss blocked that. Yes, his breaker. And the raw glaive right to the kisser. Evil Carnage is on the board. One round. Not doing many chameleon combos. He's pretty much sticking with the Johnny staple BNBs. Bad Ball Bish in the chat is saying, did they fix the desyncing issue today too? We don't talk about that. Yeah, we, we don't know about them fixing. But Kanimani, man, in this last round, looked like a complete different beast. Disco ball. Johnny Cage wins. Man, Fabs, I, I love the diversity today. I love seeing all these different main characters mixed with a fresh release cameo. This is going to be so, some entertaining MK1 today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, being here.
and of course for supporting the entire project and the competitive player base at the same time you guys are amazing hope you enjoy the show so far and as always this is only the beginning we are still in round one after this another fan favorite koizy back in the arena Johnny that means King. uh mother it's gonna be a mother team sindel and um it's literally sindel the mother of katana and melina here it's pretty much and she's copying them and, and martian is not happy about that Look at the boy in the chat. I mean, Natara also had some sauce with uh, Chameleon, so hopefully things go well. Let's go. Good interrupt here from Evil Carnage. I like the combo. Look at this man go. He's ready. He will really have that for sure. Plus, oh, wait, they could have punished that. I see my boy Big Slumper in the chat with the gift itself. Thank you so much, brother. Oh my god, you're not reacting to these overheads. Not, not even the young men reactions can, can block that. That plus? It comes back? Oh no, it hits Chameleon, so it won't come back. Funny money. Yep, corner position secured, and now what's for breakfast? Down two on wake up. This is MK11 Fabs. It really is. No jackalope for you, sir. Do your worst. Round two, fight. And Fruity in the chat is telling us, I'm distracted by all the cakes on screen. Fabs, what are we doing here? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean. I mean. <laughs> Can't say they're wrong. Oh, you plus, you pressing when he's plus? Not gonna happen. Who started with a big, big whip from Connie? Leo, thank you so much for the prime subscription. Tigris is here as well in the meantime. Evil Carnage feeling the pressure. Coming back. Oh, he didn't. He didn't wait for it to come back. And again, Disco Ball Combat Chat. He got distracted by Disco Ball for sure. <laughs> the second Chameleon and the, the Glade didn't hit him. Interesting. And yes, Shadda, that is exactly the point. Shadda is saying, OMG, is everyone good with Chameleon? Yes, that's what it looks like. At least for now, it looks like Chameleon has some crazy synergy with literally every single character on the yeah. roster. That's what I think every cameo should have been, you know, just give good synergy to that everybody. That is a good point, Fabs, yes. That's a, what a lot of people in the community ask for as well, right? Yeah. Make these cameos viable. Every single yeah, one of more them. Creative. Everything is so creative with her now. Ooh, Evil Carnage is forcing Kanyamani to play those footsies, man. Last skin? I think he just wanted to make it switch faster. He got what he wanted. Oh, her cooldowns are really, really good. And Kani is, he is just phasing his way to victory at this point. Big damage incoming? Not that yet. But, but, but you were in trouble, sir. I think one more. Oh, he dropped oh, no, it. No, evil carnage. Wait a minute. Baiting Wait, that up block. We're still in this. Oh, that's that. <laughs> the vitality fabs. Carney Mani looking extra strong today. 2 0 lead. This might be another sweep, actually. And as always, when we, host the, when we host these top 8 events, chat, who is your favorite in this one? Drop it in the chat right now. Who is going to win this entire thing today? Johnny is it Rotha? Is it Disordered? Evil Carnage, Carney, Koizy? Or is it the boy Martian? Sunshine is saying Koizy. I see Rotha. I see Carney. I see Koizy again. Oh, perhaps this is close. The community is not sure about it. And White Wolf is saying, Rip, where's today's YouTube video? White Wolf, we're literally recording it right now. <laughs> this will go live later. <laughs> yes. Ooh, 
Ooh, I like that. Coming back. Ooh. The drop. Not used to those yet. Need more time in the lab. It happens though. But Evil Khan is squeezing out the sauce here. Oh, nobody's blocking that overhead rip. This, is, this might be the most chaotic character ever. Man, Fibs, Fibs, this is chaos. Literally chaos. That's what it looks like right now. Ooh, it's a pickup from the Katana fans. Dropped it, unfortunately. Minus 17. You get the punish there, but he dropped it. <laughs> Our live audience is saying, Fabs, does Chameleon make Sub-Zero viable? <laughs> Probably, yeah. I mean, Potentially, chat. Yeah, of course. I mean, Sub-Zero can win. It's just not as easy as you may think. That's going to not do as much damage just because that glass skin does reduce the damage of your next hit incoming. Oh, wait, it's 21. Ooh. There's some extra oh damage goodness. on the menu and Evil Carnage now very, very close to chip out. You don't want to give Carnage those opportunities. Oh, that is going to do it. Johnny's this Fatal, insane damage. Doomside, thank you so much for the prime sub here. He missed the Yoki situation and he got sent to Goodbye City. Perhaps this match is over. Our eight. Up. No. Why are we. No. Not the T-Bags. Not the T-Bags in a day one tournament, Kanimani. Is that even allowed, Fabs? Do we have something against that in the rules? Nope. You can bag <laughs> anyone you want. Have fun bagging people. Absolutely disgusting. But ladies and gents, once again, round one is not over yet. There is more on the line and now another viewer favorite is going to enter the big sage. It is time for Koizy. And Fabs, I expect some crazy Sindel combos now. Yeah, the thing is, uh, Sindel gets a scream and she can immediately switch what variation she wants. That's the funny part. She can go next variation after every single scream confirm. So if you as a Sindel player, you know what's the conversion from Scream into the whatever variation you get, you might actually have some insane sequences. It's funny that she gets really good uh, synergy with the Eden characters. Sindel, Katana, and Melina all do really well with um, Chameleon. That's crazy. So I'm, I'm quite curious now because Marshnita, he always gave us a little spoiler in the live chat. He said, I have a 67% combo. With Chameleon. The main question though is, Fabs, is he going to be able to pull it off versus a player like Koizy? Because most of the time when we have Koizy on stream, he doesn't let those players breathe at all. Yeah. Like, Koizy is non-stop pressure. The thing with that combo, I'm not sure how it starts, but you have to start with a certain variation, go into this variation, and then get the Fatal Blow? Yep. I'm a believer. I'm a believer you can do that. If you hit that combo, Martian, then you win the set. Koizy has entered the stage. Oh and wait, do you see that what combat level? card from Koizy? I see the combat card and the level. Chat. This man is level 429. Koizy is level 429. I don't even understand what's happening anymore. These players, they are on the grind fabs. Literally. I've never seen lazy. that before. Chat, you know what? Let me actually show you the combat card. Here it is. Look at Koizy. We already got the chameleon combat card ready. Oh, Martian, I have a feeling this is going to be a wild ride for you now. All right, time to mother. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what Koizy just said as well, Fabs. Oh, my bad. <laughs> there we go. We get Melina's size available. Jade side. I mean, Jade slave. There we go. Oki. That would have been plus. Oh, you hit the... If you hit her as the glaze is going, it doesn't come back. That's pretty good. And Martian right now probably already questioning himself, saying, why did I sign up for this? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Empty float into overhead. Yeah, no, Koizy, stop it. I, I have a bad feeling here, Fabs. Because Koizy, the, the combo warlord himself. He really is.
Oh, the drop. Gets the jade. There we go. Oh, Chad, Koizy is cooking something. Koizy is cooking something, everyone. What? What's going on? Is that a Bruno? <laughs> a Bruno! <laughs> oh, no. Single player game. What's going on? Reminder to myself: Don't let Koizy in this day in these day one tournaments. Oh my god! And Shadow Spider saying, "I'm here for the first time and first time seeing this uncensored." Yeah, that is the beauty of the live Twitch. I'm, I'm so sorry that we can't do it on YouTube. You guys know the deal. But yes, it is what it is. Verbs Koizy in the lead. One zero. -oh. And Martian Eater, not amused. And let me tell you this, if I show him the chat prediction, he is going to be even more sad about this. 92% on Koizy Sindel Supreme. Really, chat? Air fight rings is crazy. The most professional MK tournament is backfabs. Yeah, he really is. That's in a hit confirm. Ooh, we dive kick. Martian, now it counts. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, that overhead. Oh, we got combos. We got Martin? sides. Martin? Give me sides, give me sides, give me sides. Oh, we go straight into Fatal. Okay, I like that. Not bad, not bad. He didn't do any, like, chameleon stuff there, but just doing a a simple... Not simple, but like a Natara BNB into Fatal is enough to get over oh, 50 damage. It's just, it's just, it's like, you know, the entire thing. Ooh, Koizy not respecting the plus one block, Glaive. And Marshanita is slowly waking up, potentially after seeing the chat prediction. He's like, you know what, chat? Let me show you how we roll over here in the RIF team. Sunshine with another gifted sub in the chat. Sunshine, thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. These characters are like both arrow, float, and flight characters. So seeing them use the Jackie Leap, I mean, the Katana float, it makes it even crazier. Oh. The last match in round number one. After this, already time for the semi-finals. Rotha and Desarted coming up next, by the way. Why is real? Looking for something. Lots of whipping going on. Lots of jump in as well. Plus some block. Cozy. That was a nice upload from Martian, I like that. But he got caught, and luckily the breaker is here to save him. Nice reaction there. Wait, he hit the chameleon, but the glaive still came back. Wait, that's... Oh. Posey's oh. still going. Okay, this time no crazy swag combo here in the end. And I know a lot of people potentially even disappointed by that. Most of the time when Koizy is here on screen, we see the craziest finishers left and right. Oh, but yeah, I gotta say, Fabs, since this is a day one tournament, I'm so impressed by the gameplay. And by the way, these players utilize the new cameo already. One and a half hours after release. And if Koizy takes this round now as well, we have the quadruple sweep in round number one. Jesus, everybody's sweeping. Well, they're speedrunning this. Nice snipe. That was a good read from Koizy. Making the call out.
still doing pressure. Oh, that's it on block. That's the best look there. Koizu takes advantage of that. I mean, so far we can see that players did lab a lot of situations and um, sequences they can go for. But Rotor so far seems to be the one who had the most like chameleon activity in yes. my opinion. So. Rotor literally looked like he's playing chameleon for ages, right? The way he integrates her into the gameplay beautiful stuff but it is always different and we tell that the people on youtube as well it is just different hitting something in practice mode or casuals right or you're literally playing in tournament stuttering in the air yo the spinnerino from martian but cozy wait a minute let him cook chat Bro. Oh, another brutal? Yep, another brutal. there it is. Oh, that was entertaining. Brutality. Sindel wins. And that means Koizy made it into the semifinals as well. We started with eight warriors tonight. And now we are down to the last four. And looking at the semifinal fabs, it is going to get sweaty right now. Because the remaining four players, you guys know it, disarded versus so sad uh they started versus rotha sorry and mm -hmm. kani mani versus koizy and kani mani koizy is a matchup which is highly requested over there on youtube as well that's gonna be sweaty i think this might be a run back of something i think they played in some online tournament before i don't know who won but this is gonna be saucy so Fabs, you're telling me there's some background lore as well here with Khan and, and Koizy. Oh, this is going to be good chat. Can't wait for it. A big thank you to 560 people live with us here on Twitch. Of course, the biggest thank you to the entire YouTube audience as well, who keeps us going. Thank you for the support, everyone. They started already in the lobby. Now we are waiting for young Rotha, the rain god himself, to show us how he can deal with Baraka. Oh, let's see. This is going to be a good prediction. Like right now, I'm I'm all in on Rother just because of how much variety he can put in. The fact that he was the first one to play, which means he had the less time to prepare, and now he had the most time to prepare because he played round one as well. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this evolves, you know? Very close prediction. Basically a 50-50 at this point, and that's what I expect as well. This might be the first game five of the night. Bro, just hit striker. Yo, focus. <laughs> this, dude. <laughs> the muscle memory, the muscle memory. The gateway. Prove you still possess attribute skills. Will taking your life suffice? Round one. Fight. Let's go. Here we go, Fabs. Let's cook. Oh, they both threw a projectile into fans. What the hell is happening? I don't even understand what's going on. This is too crazy. Throw combo? Oh, no. Overhead, plus some block as well. Ooh, we got full screen into Oki. Like, like I said, every variation has synergy with your character. Like Jade Glow, you put Jade Glow into a projectile, and you get a projectile to not trade. If you get uh. Fan lift into projectile, you go full screen after hitting your projectile, you can combo. It's actually pretty, pretty useful. How is it? I think they went crazy with this cameo. I'm loving it. They really it. did. But that's what the community wanted, Fabs. That's what they asked yeah. for, for literal years. Creativity and uh, new approaches. Pistol in the show saying, what the hell is even going on right now? That's the question I ask myself as well. I can barely keep up. Just come, just, just, just gaming. Just what's going on here? You no know, safe farmer for you. This what time, the hell is this combo for both? Forty percent into Oki. That's plus, and that is going to be a full conversion as well. Disco ball jacket on. I like how it doesn't cover the air, so that the hair, so like they're pretty much all geared up into crystals except their hair. Poke and another special. poke special. Rotha looking extra strong lately. I gotta say that.
I like what I'm seeing. These guys are cooking. Ancient is, is saying that rain skin is so sick. Rotha asking if we can remake the lobby. Yes, Rotha, I'm gonna make this real quick. Of course, Fabs, if the players ask for it. Third is saying, Rips Arena, Raid, Sonic, Fox, or Ninja Killer. Third, am I allowed to um, to finish this event first? <laughs> what the hell? Third is saying, you know what, Rips, stop that shit right now. Raid the big stop. boys. End your tournament. No one is raid. interested in that freaking tourney right now. <laughs> just end your tournament just raid the top players right now. Right? <laughs> what the hell? So, invites... Send out again, Rotha in the lead, 1-0. After this, coming up next in semi-final number two, Kani Mani versus Koizi. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a bloodbath tonight, Fabs. I wasn't ready for this. And back to the match we go. Every player has arrived. Let's get this rolling. In my opinion, NRS really crushed the animations from Chameleon, though, Fabs. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Round one, fight. Oh, yeah, it's it's honest. The design, they always go crazy with character designs. It's the balancing that kind of throws me off sometimes, but hey, we having fun today. Rotha say, Chameleon, get out of here. Like, with everything. Ooh. Throwing stuff at him! Big overheads, all blocked. Patience rewards him. Now, what's for Oki? Oh, that is gonna be the round. This is amazing. Round two, fight. For stagger in the no overhead. Nobody's ready for that. <laughs> Nobody's actually ready for that overhead. It's crazy. What a trade. Oh, she came to hit for him. Wow, Chameleon is so nice. Let me take a look at that final shot prediction. This is so close. I mean, two top players oh. facing each other. 48% on Disarded, 52 on Rotha. He goes for the save jump. No chameleon on screen yet. There we go. This might be. Whenever Rother is playing, this is the most active you'll see chameleon so far. Like I've, I'm seeing a chameleon every single five seconds. It's crazy. Well, that was a good grab. Wait. Oh wait. Wait. Oh, that is Two. young man reactions. Micro duck into fatal punish. That is an absolute piece of art. He might be on a different cameo, but he's still Rotor and he still got this. Be careful. Final round fight. There we go, what's for Oki? Plus, armor, always, always be ready for the armor when you plus on block. Poke special? Melina side giving that poke special ability to combo, it's crazy. That's minus 17, no punish. But Rotha, he decided to continue pressing, was the right call out, decided had to spend breaker. Oh, what a 
call out. Do we see the cash out yet? No. He sticks with the chameleon. Oh, he knows he wanted to press and he pressed first. Oh, the it. robbery. The low connects and now Roth are potentially regretting asking for that lobby restart because this started looks stronger all of a sudden. We are watching the first semi-final of the night right now and after this, Kanimani versus Koizi. So don't go anywhere, grab a cold one, chill with us, Chameleon Day 1 tournament. And I love Fabs, that we keep doing those Day 1 tournaments. True. It's, it's honestly a blessing to have like those, to see like how people are evolving and how, and you know, like you can also compare how the Day 1 was like in a few months from now, you see, wow, yes. that's how people play Chameleon back, you know, when he came out. I don't know who requested these Day 1 tourneys on YouTube who basically gave us the idea, but a big thank you to you, my friend, if you're watching <laughs> this right now. Oh, they both threw it out. That's so crazy. Eleven damage from Katana throw. J throw is the highest damage throw on Chameleon. They confirms you can get. Rotha, squeezing out all the damage. Thirty plus, just like that. Oh yeah, she does have ways to like just just ignore neutral with all these different cameos she can throw out. Man, I'm, I'm I'm loving this. Like, look at what what. No random overhead in the middle of your string that just gives you a full combo. Characters with fast lows in middle in the in strings are gonna be living. Oh interesting sequence. But covering the entire airspace. The whole screen gets covered by that. There's just so much going on in MK1 in general when we compare it to MK11. Oh yeah, just thank god we have so much more activity going on in this game. It is zoning, but it's still pretty active. Fatal Blow now on deck. And Rotha, he tried oh. to go for wake up buttons, overhead caught him off guard. This all it takes another round, super even match. Trying to go for the combo. You seeing overhead? Oh. Oh, the mix. Jackie Lee. Give me Jackie Lee. Oh, he goes for it. No, no disarm it. Disarm it. Stop. Cook it. Overhead, Melina. Do it. Oh my. Matchup knowledge. Oh, Rotha is in trouble. In the corner. Glaive's coming back. More pressure. And all of a sudden, they started the one in the lead. 2-1. Match point. He is cooking. He is cooking. The real bar is saying Chameleon makes Vanilla Cyrex look balanced. I gotta say, I didn't expect Chameleon to be that strong, but I like it because, you know, it is just some fresh air. I'm glad. I'm glad. And we don't have to commentate Striker Fabs. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I got three different animations. I mean, six different animations of cameos going on back and forth. And not just grenades and low hats. My life has been fixed. I'm happy. Get shimmied by the back three. Oof. My question is, will people actually play Chameleon? Or they're just talking and talking. They're going to go back to the loud hat yep, tomorrow. That's what we have, uh, what we're going to see in the future. I'm seeing everyone talk about how they can 
Uh, oh, I love loving this game so much, but are you gonna play it tomorrow? Round fight. Hmm. The Sardis is slowly running away with the game. Playing the fan lift inside of the of that globe, the water globe, it is so cheeky. I I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Trying to catch movement, and he does. Oh, 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 oh. Overhead. Be careful with the overhead. Oh, the strike throw is pretty, pretty solid from the Sardis right now. The way he mixes up his offense. What is this? The pressure that he's using is this disgusting. Back to neutral, though. Beautiful conversion, cash wow, out. Wow. Not gonna kill, but gonna leave the Sardis in a quite decent position after this. Yeah, Rose is gonna be looking at 40 something damage, and there's gonna be Dot and Chip on his way. Better be careful. I mean, the Sardis also has to be careful because Rota has Fatal Blow. No way he gambles on that. Plus frames. Rotha, he had to press. That was his only chance. I'm pretty. Oh, Fabs, why is everyone so toxic today? It is a day one tourney chat. What the? Merry Christmas? <laughs> and the Sardis is saying, ho, 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 everyone. I'm in grand finals. GG's. Late Merry Christmas. Fatality. Morocco wins. Mind-blowing scenes in this top 8 today. This started it. Congratulations. Rotha, thank you so much for playing. But that means it's time for the match of Giants now, Fabs. And you know what that means, brother, right? Oh yeah, Kani, Mani, and Koizy. This is gonna be... Whew. Be ready, guys. Be ready. I know koizy has been labbing probably even more. Stealing some tech from all the Edenian players. Let's see. So, so many people over there on YouTube especially wanted to see this matchup. And today it is happening. Kani Mani versus Koizy. Clash of Regions. One, if not the strongest European player in general. Versus one of NA's best. Yeah, I consider it the best in Dell in the world for most people out there. So, Ooh, let's see. This is going to be a good showdown. And I can't wait to see who is going to meet this started in Grand Finals today. Chat prediction is going live as we speak. So everyone, get your channel points in. So both on the mains immediately. And I know that there is honor on the line as well, Fabs. Lots of honor on the line indeed. There's pressure. Tries to poke the last minute. Cannot do that, though. Cannot do that. the cameo fast regeneration that she has kind of helpful here and the thing Kanye is always trying to do is get you in the corner and then non-stop pressure you to death but Koizy we have the answers for it oh that micro duck was pure filth he just knows he doesn't know what uh Kanye Mani was gonna press round two fight Oh, looking for that full... Uh, okay, if you get a full screen hairball from Sindel, she can go with the fend lift and combo from it. So, Squizzy's probably looking for that, but it's kind of tricky to land. Oh, plus Rabe still with the pressure. Johnny, these buttons. Oh, unblock! Of course we do it unblock, Fabs. That's the crazy way of life. Nice parry. That was good. Not able to confirm, though. There we go. Wait, no combo. Oh, he doesn't go for it. Oh, Kanimani missing the flawless block. Oh, 
so filthy. That's literally fifty fifty. Because he can go low after, so he just tosses the overhead in the string. Okay, he's like tying that. this bad boy up one one. And somewhere in the chat, we have to read that comment saying, mm, "It feels nice not hearing low head or grenades in the arena." And perhaps we have to agree with that. We yeah. suffered the last weeks. It's been tough, man. But people want to win, and to win, you gotta pick the top cameos, you know. But hey. But it's gonna combo. Yes. Yep, Koizy saying try to parry that. Well, Koizy's kind of cooking. More pressure just floating around at this oh. point. Koizy is just flexing. <laughs> Game one goes to Koizy. Mani Mani looking in danger here. What's going on? And don't forget everyone, this is for the last spot in Grand Finals. There's only one single match after this. Your presence isn't desired. Isn't it, Empress? <laughs> Khan in the chat is saying my life would be so much easier if I could parry my stupidity. <laughs> Jesus. If I could parry my hair loss chat. That would be, that would be amazing. There we go. Kani Mani here. Back with the pressure. Oh, he's doing anything into overhead right now. It is working and I love that. Silverman Johnny right there. Oh, my God. I love oh and Kali, oh beautiful conversion. Safe jump. Expecting the safe jump there. Wait. That's a trade combo. That's a but trade Koizy, combo. Can we bring this back? Forty-three percent. Sindel can definitely do that. Good up block. Kani Mani, young man reactions. Yeah, 40, uh, that's good damage, and the fact that the cameras was already available before uh, the combo ended means that there's so many more possibilities. And Abel with a good point in the chat saying, imagine we had Uplock versus Jackie back then. I would have been happy. But in the meantime, another parry, Kani getting those punished. Oh my dude, oh, this is gonna go into quarter conversion. We got Fanlip available, Melina Sai on deck now. Overhead again. Nobody's blocking the overhead rip. What's going on? Safe jump. Oh, whipped. I don't know where that was safe. We saw the up block attempt from Connie. Wait. No, Cozy is not bringing this back. This is what I think. Impossible. This no. is what I think. There's no loud hat here to give you 50 50. But you have to open. No. No way. Poisy. Poisy, stop it. Breaker available as well. <gasps> and Kali oh. press right at the perfect time. But that was close. One touch. The six frame poke there is helping us out. Wins. Must be nice having a six frame poke. Must be nice. That was very, very close. Koizy literally only needed one more opening to bring this back. And that means 1-1. One, one. Close match, that's what we expected, seeing those two names here on the menu. Sindel, Johnny K, Chameleon, Chameleon, Yale Fortress. If Tanya doesn't work out, I will happily guard that body. You embarrass yourself, Earthrealmer. Round one, fight. Let's go, game number three. I surely do uh, hope to see some 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 filthy full screen action. With you. I mean, the fact that you can throw a projectile and go straight into float, it is so powerful. Yo, Kanye Mani with these parries. He has to be the Johnny player that I know that uses that parry so much more. I agree with that. Yes, Kanye yeah. Ka loves the parry. It is a pretty strong too. It's two frames. One casual stuff there needs it. All right, let's see if the Sindel goes into Katana fan. No, nope. 
And there it is. Thanks. But this time, Koizy just waited a little bit. I'm pretty sure Sindel can full combo punish the parry. Oh, that was good. Sindel can full combo punish the parry if she just screamed. Fight. Pretty sure, unless I'm just dumb. Oh, it misses the glass skin. For himself. Oh, we are carrying through everything. Perhaps unbelievable Johnny numbers Johnny here Johnny. in the chat as well. Close to 700 people are here with us watching these giants fight each other. On the day one tournament? Good flawless block. Missed the punish here. I think Johnny can definitely shadow kick this. Looking for the opening. There we go. The 2 1 shrink connects. Let's go. It's, it's, it's party time. Oh. Empty float into overhead. No, safe, it, it Mother me. in action. Oh, the, that grab was disgusting. I didn't even see it coming. <gasps> Fabs, no way. Fabs, how much? Fabs, how much? I'm going to go ahead and say 40. The chat is saying this is enough. It, it, Let me it's see. Over 40. No. It's over 40. 42. Jesus. Boy, oh boy. What is this damage? Dude, Johnny. How, how much is that damage? So oh, heavy. Oh, we have, we have gaming going on right now. Armor, hard knockdown. Swole in the chat, I see you. Thank you so much for the Prime subscription. In the meantime, Koizy tries to get that offense started. Nice floss block. Not return anymore, Koizy. Take it confirms for days. Another, he has another Melina charge. Is he gonna go for the mix? No, it's a simple. Oh, we dropped a glaive. He's looking for that glaive. No more glaive available. It's Katana time. I think Animani wants projectile. There we go. I think he's also able to shadow kick that from full screen. He hits it. And just like that, Fabs, Kani in the lead. But this smells like a game five. And I hope we actually get it for the first time in this tournament. We only saw a sweep so far. This is sweep tournament. Not, not, like, not a single game five. Just three O's, three ones. Sendel, Johnny K, Chameleon, Chameleon, Temple of Kataravala. It's what's called a reality show, okay? We follow you and the girls. I and won't allow Earth Realmers into my inner sanctum. Round one, fight. The Sardin is potentially already in the lab faps, you know, labbing Sindel and be. Johnny at the same time. He should be, he should be. Oh, we got combos. Boise and, and Rother has some really, really cool combos with this character. Ooh. Beautiful counter hits, yep. Nice decision making from Kanimani. Another parry. And this time, Kani used the Shadow Kick as a get into it. Oh my god. That Melina Balro on block, nobody's guessing right. Nobody's waiting for that. It's like a letter rock type button. Oh, that was. Yep, yeah. we have to. We have to admit that was kind of clean. Who's the, man? the little backdash <laughs> making the call out that Koizy is gonna press buttons. Restand. He comes back. This is scary. Oh, there we go. Ooh, doesn't get the combo though. Another parry. That's a big punish. No. Still, still on the advantage here. I want to see. Oh, so risky. What the hell is going to do? <laughs> Your Fabs is losing his mind. Oh my god. Also, I like how the trajectory of the uh, Jade Glaive just is always random. It goes up and down, down and up. Can they control it? 
as a player, I don't know what's going on there. It's always random. Like how he comes back. Oh wait. Oh, perhaps oh, wait. is in trouble. Even though Kanimani is down in like Oh, he cashed out completely. Oh, this is over 50, isn't it? Chat, chat. I don't even this want to over. look at those numbers. Oh my. It's not gonna kill but it's over 50. Oh, this damage is it is ridiculous. And it there's the glaive, Fabs. This match is over. Kani Mani defending his throne in the arena. GG's. Not today that you beat Kani Mani, unfortunately. And ladies and gentlemen, I hope you know what that means. After 90 minutes, aka one and a half hours, it is time for the grand finals of today's day one chameleon tournament. And we're actually gonna see our two most successful arena players yeah. How many times fighting did each, other? Face each other. Yeah, you're right. I feel like Honey Money and Desarted are like pretty regulars in grand finals and ribs, you know? Let's see. Oh, Fabs, this is, this is going to be a good one. This is definitely going to be a good one. Desarted and Kanimani clashing again. This feels like MK11 all over again. Yep, it is. It is dangerous waters we're going through here. Let's see who <laughs> has the most sauce with the chameleon. Or we just play most consistently, really. Who is going to take it? Desarted in the chat is saying the never-ending rivalry. That is one of my favorite phrases. But Desarted, you have to agree. It is the truth. What is what is that character from Kanimani? What what is this pig fat? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I I have a feeling he's not even doing anything chameleon. He's just gonna zone the hell out of this boy. <laughs> Kanimani is saying, I like that you lapped Johnny for a bit, but I'm gonna bring the Reiko in this one. Like I do not care what cameo we're using, I'm gonna counter picture regardless, my brother. I think I think Reiko can combo into Phantos, by the way. Reiko throws ninja stars and then gets the fan lift, Jackie Lee thing, and he can combo from that for sure. Oh. What the Yeah. He doesn't even have to convert, he just he's happy he got, got that out. Just happy that worked. It is so risky trying to throw Kanimani because this man is dodging every single throw. Overhead. Oh, it started. Oh my god, we are. Dash up and cameo overhead. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Special. And again. How many hits? God damn. Loud as hell. Yo, nah. This artist plays this play so well. Using all these tools, but not ready for that. Melina ball roll from Chameleon. Command Trap City. Oh wait, no projectiles for you. Sweet. I'm pretty sure this started expected another command grab. Yeah. Go, go. Oh my. He's comboing from everything. breakfast oh my they're just throwing that melina borrow neutral like it's nothing i'm loving this <laughs> wait that's a full combo this is a very close match so far started on the lead right now wait one block that's punishable oh he cares out i don't know how much damage this is but he also hit his cameo so i don't want to be uh Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um. What the? What? What? Fabs? Fabs? 
53 burger? Okay. Fabs, how is it, it how is it even possible that we are commentating MK1 tournaments for like four months every single day now and we are still surprised by those numbers? I, I didn't... I, I, didn't <laughs> I mean, he hit his cameo. I, I feel like it, it scales the less when you hit their cameo. You're like, what? Honey Money taking the lead here in Grand Finals. Are you still the warrior you once were? Test my blades and see! <laughs> Even the chat is surprised by that damage. Fight. Fan lift is available. Oh, he goes for it straight away. I like how this artist is looking at his cameo mark card the whole time. Combos. Coming back. Oh, he doesn't come back because he hit Chameleon. This artist has the life lead, but, but the problem is Reiko's full screen presence is so yeah. solid in MK1. You just have to. It's coming back! Ooh. There we go. He gets some throws. Can I get a fan lift? Ooh, he's actually using that fan lift so much. I'm liking what I'm seeing. The Kani Money is a simple man in the mix. <laughs> the overhead. It's always there. Is that poke? That ship? What is this? And that is smart. Yep, beautiful usage of that cameo assist from Kani Money. Oh, 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 oh. Now we got Jade. Oh, Jade. Wow. Duck OS, I saw you that. that you cannot grab this bed at all. Oh, can you see the range in that overhead, by the way? How far he was from him? Like, I don't even want to see that fast. <laughs> Filthy. Command Rep incoming! Dog. <laughs> There's no mix there, but nobody's blocking overhead. And how much is this? Off of the random overhead starter. Not enough Fabs. Chip and dot damage coming through. 4% health. No, Kani, you are mad lad. Oh, he doesn't convert this. And disordered. His only way out was just mashing for the victory. And it yeah, worked. David. How it is. Needs it. Hilda, I'm liking. I'm seeing. Seems like she's really strong in every part of the screen. She makes her character strong from every range. The range, but now we got to do with the Dako S. Kanimani. We can literally see that? why he's considered one of the best in the entire world right now. This kid is cracked. If I was disarted, I would just go for back threes all the time because he's Dako Sing a lot. There we go. <laughs> of course, it, it beats Dako S if you just back three Baraka. Ooh. And Kani takes it. Look at him just backdashing. He is making fun of this artist right now. 71% of the live audience believe in Kanimani. Our most successful player in the arena history. For a reason. Ain't no way he picked this Reiko just as zone this artist. He knows this artist hates Reiko, by the way. He knows that. I think every Baraka player hates Reiko. <laughs> So that means Kanimani, the first player on tournament point today. This artist needs the reversal 3-0 to somehow bring this back, but we don't see any character switch. The gateway. This hard 
place seems like a fair fight. <sighs> I'll make you eat that swagger. Round one, fight! Good start for this artist, but he needs more than this. Oh wow, that overhead is rocking people today. Ooh, up lock to the Kanye Money, doesn't matter what situation you put him on, he's always gonna try and look for the up lock. <laughs> Sit down. Here's another throw incoming. Pretty, pretty even. Once again, both players have that magic button. And there it is. Speaking of it. Beautiful. Something that I'm guessing it's happening a lot to people is that if you want to make your armor safe, you have to do the fan lift, right? So sometimes you do your armor, but then Chameleon switches the variation. So instead of fan lift, you get Melina side. So your armor becomes unsafe. It happens a lot. And I'm noticing how often it's happening. They just throw the raw armor like that. It's crazy. Spicy with punish from Kami. We got an overhead available. Oh, go straight from the low. Uh, we're neutral ducking this. I like the read from this audit here. Uh, neutral ducking the projectiles. That chip is crazy. Kind of hard to react to the Jade uh, Glaive or to High Projectile. If you dug thinking it's going to be the Ninja Star, you're going to get hit by the Glaive and it's going to come back. So, gotta be really careful there. <gasps> what is that? It's tried it again. Good flawless mark from, the, uh, from Kanimani. There is the throw. And Kanimani on match point. Corner position on top of that. Final round. Yeah, for the folk special and tiny money was ready for that which is impressive on its own and he up lost the lead oh this is gaming there we go gets the jump in so has to beat the micro duck on the lead what a pickup That switch. Connie. Back that. There we go. He wants the W. He wants to prove a point at this point, <laughs> saying I'm the best in this. He really tried to. Oh, prove there's that. our command trap, and now it's getting dangerous for Disarded. Uplock, oh, punish, Fabs. Death. This tournament is officially over. Chichis. Kaliwadi <laughs> with the grand finals. Reiko out of nowhere. Big. I didn't even know he played Reiko. I didn't even know he had a Reiko. Can we call him did. the Chameleon King? That is the question here. <laughs> Kanimani, congratulations. A big thank you to every single player who decided to compete in this today. It was an absolute sweat fest in my opinion, Fabs. And I had a blast. I hope you guys out there enjoyed it just as much as I did. We found a champion here day one. And I'm curious, Fabs, are we gonna see Chameleon on the regular now here in our competitive events? Did you enjoy it, brother? I hope so. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope we get to see more Chameleon. I hope people don't just play Chameleon and go straight to Laha and Striker. That's right. So, so yeah, it would be cool. So we're going to find out in the future. Until then, I'm going to send you guys over to another great content creator. Thank you so much for supporting us. Thanks for being here today. And I'm going to catch every single one of you again tomorrow with a special guest on the mic. Spoiler alert. It's Fabs. It's Fabs. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Peace out.